Hello guys, welcome to Dordi Kitchen. Today, Chef Jeff is in charge of the kitchen. Hi, this is Chef Jeff. Today, we're going to make empanadas. The empanada is a delicious stuffed pastry popular in Latin America. Types of stuffings vary from chicken to seafood to beef. Every Latin country boasts its own special recipe. Today, we're going to spotlight the beef empanadas from Chile. Three ingredients that make it unique and delectable are hard-boiled eggs, olives, and raisins. Let's get started. Preparing Chilean empanadas involve a two-step process. First, you must make the beef stuffing. Second, you must prepare the pastry. To simplify matters, we are going to focus on the stuffing mix and leave the pastry part to the local grocery store where you can find frozen packages of ready-made empanada dough that come in individual sliced discs. Empanada dough is actually fairly simple to make and there are many recipes available online should you prefer to make it from scratch. Now, back to the mix. We have chopped onion, ground beef, raisins, chopped black pitted olives, white wine, and you can substitute water for the wine if you don't want alcohol. We have flour, oregano, cumin, chili pepper, paprika, beef bouillon, and salt and pepper, and chopped hard-boiled eggs. Okay, we've warmed up our olive oil and paprika in a Dutch oven on medium heat. Once the olive oil began to bubble, we added the chopped onion and reduced the heat to medium-low. Now, we have to stir frequently to prevent the onions from burning or browning. We will cook them until they are wet and translucent, approximately 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back. About 10 minutes have passed. As you can see, the onions are nicely translucent. If you notice they're a little brown, it's because the paprika has kind of dispersed its coloring throughout the onion mixture. So it's time to add the salt, pepper, chili powder, white wine, oregano, cumin, beef bouillon, and flour. Here go in some oregano, just a little bit. We've got our salt and pepper mixture, about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. I'll give it a good mix here. I'm going to put in now some of the chili powder. Give it another mix. Mmm, you can smell that chili in there. 
Mmm, this is going to be delicious. Okay, so now comes in the cumin. Just a little bit. About half a teaspoon of it. These portions are based on using one pound of onion, approximately four onions, and one pound of ground beef. Obviously, if you increase the amount of onion and beef, you have to increase the amount of the various spices that we're adding. So we're going to give it a good stir and just let it saute for a minute or so. And then we're going to add our beef. And here's, here's some of the white wine. Yeah. The alcohol is going to eventually burn off. Okay, and then to provide some thickness to it, I'll add the, the flour. In this case, about a tablespoon of flour. Get that all mixed in well. Things are coming together. Finally, a bouillon cube, a beef bouillon cube. Now you can crush that or you can just simply put it in by itself and it will eventually kind of melt and combine with the other ingredients. Now these empanadas are great snacks for kids and they're easy to prepare. After you've made pastries and the stuffing, you can take them and, and freeze them and uh, pull them out of the, the freezer and uh, put them in some oil and cook them up. So you can make a big batch of these and I guarantee you the kids will love them. Now we put the ground beef, I'm going to chop it up, we're going to have to mix it well. Now the other three ingredients that I mentioned earlier, the olives, the hard boiled eggs and the raisins, those will be added once the mixture is prepared and the actual empanada is, is made with the the discs okay we um, we add those three ingredients just before we seal the the empanada and before we um, uh, cook it in oil now many Chileans uh, cook their empanadas actually uh, in the oven they bake them uh, they usually We'll um, uh, brush on a, an egg wash and then they'll put it in the oven for uh, maybe half an hour at uh, 350 degrees. Uh, but I think that uh, when you uh, cook them in oil it gives them a little more of a crispy texture. So here we go. We're going to let this cook now until the. I'm uh, going to turn up the the heat 
until we get about uh, medium or medium high to get that ground beef nicely cooked and browned. We don't want anything burned. And mm, smell all those flavors coming together the, the beef, the cumin, the chili powder. Mmm, this, this is some good stuff. Few minutes have passed and we've mixed the uh, ingredients together and now the uh, beef is nicely cooked and browned and now all those flavors are going to blend together. Uh, we suggest that you take this mixture, put it in a container and store it away in the refrigerator for overnight that will evaporate some of the liquids from the mixture and make it a little bit drier and, and the flavors will become more intense. And uh, so after you've done that, then you're ready to go on to the next step and take the empanada dough and fill the, the discs with the uh, mixture. And we'll be doing that next. Okay, the beef filling has rested overnight. The flavors have intensified and blended together, and I'm ready to assemble the final product. To make things easier, I'm using a contraption I bought online for $6 to compress the dough edges together. If you don't have one, no problem. Just follow the instructions on the back of the empanada dough package. Fold the dough over to form a half moon and seal edges with a dinner fork. Okay, let's get started. I floured the counter so the dough doesn't stick. With the roller pin, I'm going to stretch out the dough to about 7 inches in diameter so it fits my little contraption. Well, just a little bit more. Okay, that looks about right. Now, I'm going to take one or two spoons 
of the peanut and put it in the center spread it out evenly I'm going to take a slice of boiled egg and put it in the middle and around it take some sliced olives and some raisins now to seal the edges properly I'm going to use an egg wash and coat the edges so we have some good adhesion All right. now here's the magic Seal it. Lift it up. And there you have it. A finished empanada ready for frying. Now for the final step. Frying the empanadas. Fill a Dutch oven or deep saucepan with two and a half inches of vegetable oil. Adjust the burner to medium high heat and fry two or three empanadas at a time until they turn golden brown. Remove the empanadas and place on a paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Lift the empanada up a little bit to check the progress. Continue frying. Now you can bake these in the oven. What you would do is wash the outside of the empanada with an egg wash and then put it on a tray and stick it in the oven for around 350 degrees for about half an hour and they'll come out golden brown. Here's the final product, ready to be set at the table.